characterize us Hollywood types as bleeding heart liberals, LGBTQ and diversity champions and all that, hardly, however abysmal the numbers are, in real life, it's far worse in fiction, <laughs> where you make it up. It can be anything you want, and we make it worse than the crappy reality. Let's live up to our label. There's one sector of society with a profound inequality that can be fixed overnight, and that is on screen. At Gina started the Institute 14 years ago. We realized that people were emailing us and saying, how could I get involved? Because we would use our research as currency to bring all of you together. We know you're all CJ members. The Writers Guild has partnered with the Gina Davis oh, wow. Institute. We're very excited to be back here again at the WGA West. We are at 72 and Sunny. We've been partnering with the Gina Davis Institute on Gender and Media for a few years. So the topic of the hour is women in comedy. It's doubtful that a guy would have gone into Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld's office and pitched, Elaine thinks there are skinny mirrors at Barney's. <laughs> None of the guys on the writing staff knew what a skinny mirror was, but every woman here knows what a skinny mirror is. Going for auditions, where it's like, oh, I'm sorry, we already have a black. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Yeah. For next year. The theme of this panel is intersectionality. On how to get away with murder. All of the judges normally are women or people of color. We've sort of created this series to both empower and inspire writers to write the change they wish to see in the world. If you're in the Writers Guild, you already have your foot in the door. Get good enough that you can then push your agenda. Doc myself is worse because every kid wants to talk to their toys and have their toys talk back. It has to start with a great story. I, I like the kumbaya thing, but I think it really is about putting her money where her mouth is, as Gina has done with her institution. Everybody who's our age, we're the next generation, we're the next future leaders. It's changed my life uh, significantly to be a part of something as opposed to complaining about it. Something is happening. I really think we are on the cusp of a big turning point in this industry. Together, we can make a dramatic cultural change and show women and girls that their aspirations and options are limitless. So we are making an impact, but we have still a way to go and we need all the help and support we can get.